Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm just highlighting this Ayurvedic uh, product, Hibiscus Flower. So this is a dried version of the flower. It's a very potent plant. And if you grew up in the tropics, you definitely know this plant. It's so vibrant and beautiful. Today I'll be using it as the center of this recipe. And I would also be adding some of our butters and oils to the recipe. So I'm creating um, like a, a paste or a sealant. And I'll be using our mango butter. So that's like the jumbo size of our mango butter. We, we sell it in bulk on the website. We have five pounds up until 20 pounds. And if you wanted to order like a whole container of it we are able to supply that as well so this is fractionated coconut oil which is the oil i like to use to infuse herbs and um extracts just because i i want the the product to be properly incorporated into the oil so cuckoo nut oil would also be used in this recipe and i would be using some emulsifying wax just as a thickener because this summer is going to be hot just today we're having a heat wave in the northeast um we're looking at almost 100 degrees so i definitely need my butters all my sealants to stay thick and solid so first of all i'll be blending the hibiscus flour which is in this dry form so people normally order this in the powdered form but as much as possible, I like to get herbs in their natural stages because I want to make sure that nothing else is blended in with it. So that's why I'll be blending it myself. However, I would like to issue a warning here. So if you are allergic to, to pollen, just like me, I'm allergic to a bunch of pollen and a bunch of crazy stuff. So you might want to be very careful when blending this. Maybe just cover your nose because hibiscus is um is a flower that has a lot of pulling in it so you can see the smoke coming out and i hadn't taken my allergy medicine so yeah that day wasn't easy but just giving you that warning make sure you don't blend it without covering your nose if you have um hay fever and things like that so i'm proceeding to try to infuse this so i do have this cheesecloth that i ordered from amazon and it comes in that size if you have a bigger size that that would also work all you need to do is just to add the um the powder that you're infusing so in recent times i noticed that my hair is thinning so i wanted to incorporate a lot of ayurvedic um powders into my hair care regimen as well as my skincare as much as i can so this is one of them and um i'll be showing you how to make like um, a sealant so i wouldn't call this a grease because it's not a stick but it, it is a kind of a sealant that you can use to um, get some hold that's why i, I am adding emulsifying wax so you you can also use things like cereal alcohol which will be able to give you the same effect. So I'm not adding any water to this recipe. I'm just using emulsifying wax as a, as a thickener here. And um, of course, adding some oils. So I decided to use some strawberry oil because I wanted the uh, natural scent of strawberries in this recipe. So I've just added it into the cloth and i am trying to infuse it and of course you need to apply some kind of heat to it you can add it into um, a double boiler or you can put it in a microwave so fractionated coconut oil is able to to take on some heat without breaking down so that's why i use it a lot when i am infusing or uh, uh extracts and the uh, these kinds of potent powders so um hibiscus pow uh, powder is known for its medicinal uses um there's been a lot of research about it it's anti-inflammatory and it helps even 
with things like high blood pressure and cardio and neuro problems. I was really amazed when I did the research on hibiscus powder because I grew up with this flower everywhere around the house. I did not really know what the benefits were at the time. But in recent times, I've started looking at it and a lot of people drink it. And um, I remember growing up in uh, Nigeria, there was a, a, a snack, like a drink that people would make with hibiscus. I did not even know that was where it came from. I just knew that the drink was delicious. So I probably had this <laughs> in a way, but did not even know. But here I am today just uh, noticing and appreciating this natural product and just bringing that to you guys today so you can also drink it um, as a tea and you can incorporate it into your hair care regimen by infusing it into your your butters that you use for sealing your hair and um, you can use it for yeah making other kinds of hair care products and the, the list is just endless. If you like to make emulsions, you can add some water and make a leave-in conditioner out of this. I, I would, in the future, show different ways that you can use hibiscus in your hair care regimen and even your skincare regimen. So it's a very vibrant, um, very vibrant uh, product. And you can see the vibrant reddish color. Now, because I did not really blend it too much, I may not be able to get a vibrant red paste. <laughs> but um, if you want to get that, then you have to combine the right ingredients and uh, possibly avoid using emulsifying wax. You might use a different kind of wax just to make sure that you you retain that natural pigmented color the reddish color in your resulting product there so i'm just gonna proceed to add the other oils that i'm using so the strawberry oil strawberry oil it smells just like strawberries because it's unrefined it's it's pure and just smells great and it has uh, all the benefits of strawberries that you can Imagine strawberries are very high in vitamin C, almost as much vitamin C as you find in oranges. I believe it's even higher in vitamin C than oranges. So you can also get that those benefits in your hair and your skin, just incorporating strawberry oils. I also wanted to add some grapefruit essential oil just because it smells great. And that's what I wanted the, the paste to smell like. So this is a very simple and straightforward recipe. So if you wanted to make your own grease at home, I also have a different video where I show Moringa hair grease. So you can ap apply the same principle when you're making this kind of paste. You can use beeswax. You can also use waxes like candelita wax. If you wanted to make a vegan creation, you can use that instead of beeswax. So canu waxes like canuba wax, uh, candelilla wax, they also would be able to give you the same effect. And all you need to do is just make sure you balance it out with your oils to make sure you don't get something that is gritty or too stiff. So I'm just proceeding to pour it in. So you can see that my blend is is red but just because i did not blend it too much and um for this reason you can actually uh go for already blended powders if you want it to be crushed <laughs> so this is what i got in the end i'm pretty happy i'm pretty happy with it so i would be making suggestions to you if you want to have it more vibrantly colored but yeah, it's the most important thing is the fact that it was actually infused with a hibiscus powder and it's in there and the benefits are there. So I'm pretty happy with it. So I just want to show you what the texture looks like. 
which is what I'm usually interested in because of the ability for my hair to, you know, absorb the the product. So it's pretty silky and it's very easily spreadable, but still thick and not too thick. So the emulsifying wax just did its job there. And I'm pretty pleased with the results. Hope you enjoy the video and have a great day. Thank you.